In this video we will discuss in detail about the types of engine oil like synthetic, semi-synthetic, and mineral, and also try to know which type of engine oil will be best for your motorcycle, so let's start the video. We know that engine oil is a type of lubricant or slippery substance, which reduces the friction between the rotating parts of the engine, so that the parts do not wear out and last longer. Before knowing the types of engine oil, it is necessary to know how engine oil reduces this friction and protects the moving parts from corrosion. When two metals pass over each other, then the friction between the metal particles causes the metals to corrode. If you want to drag a chair from one place to another, then as a result of friction, legs of the chair and the floors will corrode, but if there are small wheels attached to the bottom of the chair, then those wheels will reduce the friction and the wheel itself will corrode, but neither the chair legs nor the floor will corrode. So here you can compare the wheels with engine oil, because engine oil reduces the friction of the parts inside the engine and protects the parts from wear out. Similarly here these wheels reduce the friction between the chair and the floors and protect them from wear out. As the wheels are bigger we can easily see it, but on the other hand, engine oil contains a large number of small molecules, which act like these wheels, means that the molecules in engine oil go between the moving parts, making the parts slippery and reducing their friction. As a result, the moving parts of the engine are protected from corrosion and are durable for a long time. We can't see these molecules with the naked eye, but if you try to look at engine oil with a microscope, then you'll see these tiny, round particles. So we have understood how the engine oil works, now let's take a look at different type of the engine oil. Engine oils are generally of three types, mineral, synthetic, and semi-synthetic. These three types of engine oils do the same thing, but engine oils are divided into three categories because of the different sizes of molecules. An engine oil is basically a mixture of two oils, one is the base oil and the other is the additive oil. Now I am explaining to you these base and additive matter with an example. Suppose you want to eat omelet, then you need egg to make omelet. So here is this egg is the base or main ingredient. Now, you can mix the egg with chopped onions, cheese, and many other things to make it tastier. So here these are the additive. Hopefully the base and additive matter has been cleared. Now we will try to understand the technique of making engine oil, because then it will be convenient to understand which engine oil is best for motorcycle. Engine oil, the stuff that keeps engines running smoothly, is made from a special type of oil found deep underground. This underground oil is like a raw ingredient for making engine oil, which is called crude oil. But we cannot extract crude oil from underground and use it directly as engine oil, because crude oil contains all types of oil including gas, petrol, diesel, in a mixed state. A step of refining the crude oil produced produces the lubricant oil, which basically acts as a base oil for making engine oil. With this base oil, companies add special extras called additives to the underground oil to make engine oil. It's like adding different things to omelette to make it taste better. If the companies had made engine oil without adding their own additives, then their engine oil would not have any difference with other companies. So finally we have understood how engine oil is made. Now we will discuss about the different type of engine oil. So the first type is the mineral engine oil. Without any change in the hydrocarbon molecule of base oil obtained from crude oil, Different companies add their own additives to 100% base oil to make mineral engine oil. Mineral oil is also called conventional oil or motor oil. This oil is not completely refined, so the molecules inside it are smaller and bigger in size. If you look at the molecules of mineral oil under a microscope, you will see that the molecules of mineral oil are of different sizes. When you run the motorcycle with mineral engine oil, the large molecules will be destroyed quickly due to the high pressure on them. Then the small molecules will be destroyed, thus the engine oil should be changed after running the motorcycle for 2,000 to 2,500 kilometers. If you want you can run more than 2,000 to 2,500 kilometers with mineral engine, but mineral engine oil will not be able to lubricate the moving parts of the engine properly after running 2,000 to 2,500 kilometers due to loss of viscosity and molecules. Also, mineral engine oil loses its performance due to the accumulation of various dust particles and metallic deposits, resulting in reduced engine speed and bad noise from the engine. So the matter of mineral engine oil is clear, let's take a look at the second type. Synthetic engine oil. Synthetic engine oil is chemically processed engine oil, and many people say that it is completely man-made. But this is wrong, all the oils we use in vehicles are processed from underground crude oil, synthetic engine oil is not beyond it. The hydrocarbon molecule of the base oil obtained by refining the crude oil is turned into a stronger molecule of the same size through the synthesis process, which is called stronger synthesized base oil components. To put it more simply, synthetic engine oil is made by further refining mineral engine oil and adding various additives to it. If you look at the molecules of synthetic oil under a microscope, you will see that the molecules of synthetic oil are the same sizes. Because all the molecules are the same sizes, so synthetic engine oil has a greater lubrication capacity than mineral oil, and this oil does not not degrade as quickly resulting in a longer service life than mineral engine oil. 
In this oil the ingredients used are tested a lot, so they can lubricate the moving parts of the engine very well, as a result of which these parts are durable for a long time. Moreover, we know that the viscosity of engine oil changes as the temperature goes up and down, that is engine oil becomes thicker in cold weather and thinner in hot weather. But synthetic engine oil can withstand much more heat and cold than mineral engine oil, meaning it doesn't thin until it gets too hot and it doesn't thicken until it gets too cold. Now you might be thinking that if synthetic oil is so good, then why is mineral oil sold in the market? So it's because of the price, you can buy two mineral oils for the same price where you can buy a synthetic oil, means synthetic oil almost double the price of mineral oil. So the synthetic oil matter is clear, let's take a look at the last type, semi-synthetic engine oil. Semi-synthetic engine oil is a blend of mineral and synthetic engine oil, where 25% synthetic and 75% mineral engine oil is used. As a result, the performance of the engine increases slightly and its price is much lower than synthetic engine oil but slightly higher than mineral engine oil. Mineral engine oil is made directly from crude oil by slightly refining it, so its production cost is lower, which results in lower price of mineral engine oil. On the other hand, synthetic engine oil is manufactured by refining and adding various chemicals through more experiments, so its price is higher than mineral engine oil. Since the amount of mineral oil is high in semi-synthetic engine oil and the amount of synthetic engine oil is low, so the price of semi-synthetic engine oil is slightly higher than mineral oil, but slightly lower than synthetic oil. Synthetic engine oils are mainly formulated with a focus on better performance, so premium segment motorcycle should be used synthetic engine oil. On the other hand, you can use mineral engine oil in commuter motorcycle, but if you want top performance in commuter motorcycles, then you can use synthetic engine oil. Now many people are thinking that, with the money I can buy two mineral engine oils, then why should I buy a synthetic engine oil with that money? So let me tell you that, according to the engine maintenance limit, you can ride the motorcycle up to 2,000 to 2,500 kilometers with mineral oil, meanwhile you can ride from 3,500 to 4,000 kilometers with synthetic engine oil. Although you are buying synthetic engine oil for twice the price of mineral engine oil, but you can run twice as much motorcycle as mineral oil. Deposits accumulate more in mineral engine oil, so the engine oil filter should be changed twice every 3,500 to 4,000 kilometers, but synthetic engine oil accumulates very little deposits, so the engine oil filter should be changed once every 3,500 to 4,000 kilometers. And if you think about the performance and engine condition, then you will get better performance in synthetic oil than mineral oil and the condition of the engine will also be good. So I would suggest you to use synthetic engine oil in your motorcycle, because of this, even if your money is spent a little more, but you are getting better performance in the bike and the condition of the engine is also better. And if speaking of semi-synthetic, then if you don't have the budget to buy synthetic, then you can use semi-synthetic engine oil. As per limitation, you can change the engine oil after 2,000 to 2,500 kilometers for mineral engine oil and 3,500 to 4,000 kilometers for synthetic engine oil. If your engine still feels smooth even after going beyond the limit, then you should change the engine oil after riding the bike for 500 to 1,000 kilometers at most, because even if the viscosity of your engine oil is fairly good, but the engine oil and engine oil filter become dirty due to the accumulation of various deposits, in that case, you must change the engine oil and engine oil filter. Hope you you have learned the difference between engine oils and various unknown facts about engine oil in this video, moreover if you want such detailed video about engine oil great, then comment, and if you want to know that which motorcycle will be perfect for you, then click on this video.